Today I'm making a wine rack out of some oak and some metal chewing. Stay tuned. drying now all the cutouts I need to make for the metal beams to rest in where the bottles will uh, be placed on and I have to do this very careful because there are the wine rack will be basically only parallel lines and if one will be a little bit closer to the other it will look weird so I have to make I have to make sure that I make the cuts uh, deep enough that my band saw is set straight and that I have the spacing correct. So taking some time to do the to do the drawings. I need to cut a chamber in here so I can drill my screws in later to hold the metal beams. And I need to glue everything together and then I need to cut the slots for the metal beams. So, montage time. I have the beam all straightened up, it's glued together. I passed it through the bandsaw once to get the front and the back parallel and to get all the layers in the same level. Now I'm gonna make the cutouts for the metal parts also on the bandsaw because it um, gives me the highest chance of a straight edge. And after that I'll need to drill the holes through it and we can mount the metal parts. The saw is made to cut steels and wood and plastics and everything, but I think I feel like I'm kind of stretching its limits when I'm cutting these profiles, so we'll see how it goes.
I'm gonna do the rest of the angle grind because it takes too long and it's sparking and everything so Given all the steel tubing a quick coat of clear varnish, including the wood, just to make sure that it doesn't rust too, too quick. So, everything is ready, let's assemble. I'm putting Loctite on the screws when I'm assembling it to make sure that when I'm putting the wine bottles on every time, it doesn't uh, loosen over time and all of a sudden the beam drops off. Very cool, like this. be easier than I thought. I thought it would be really hard to get everything parallel and, and straight but turned out it worked out really well. So 
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out the other videos I will link over there. And don't forget to hit subscribe. And remember, dare to experiment and have fun creating.